Hello there. So, continuing the series of um, the Conjuring timeline, we have um, what's this one called? The Curse of La the the Curse of La Laura. The Curse of La Laura. Okay. Whatever. Uh, yeah. So this is the next movie in the Conjuring timeline. Um, yeah, it's kind of a slow burner. There was kind of I I I really enjoyed the last movie, and um, it it it's been a couple, it's been like three days since I watched the last film, and I really wanted to watch the next one, and uh, there was nothing on tonight, so I decided to watch it. But um, so it stars Raymond Cruz, who you might know from um, I think he was in season one of Breaking Bad. He was the big drug dealer in Breaking Bad anyway. He was really good in that. And he's really good in this too. He's kind of the... Uh, he used to be a priest and now he's a witch doctor. But um, anyway, so it starts off with this single mother and her two kids. And um, they're uh, being haunted by something, but you don't know what. They're, uh, Mex like, you know, they're Mexican. Uh, or... Latino descent anyway but um so uh what do you call it so then you have another mother and her two kids she's a white lady but she was married to an Hispanic cop and um she's a boy and a girl and so she was asked to go in and check on um the Hispanic lady and her two kids and so she went in and there was all of this like weird like Mojo Jojo everywhere, like stuff everywhere, and the wall, uh, the windows were all boarded up and everything. And she found the kids in the wardrobe, and uh, she let the kids out, and she thought like you know the mother was abusing them. Uh, because you know you don't really think of anything supernatural straight away, you know. Um, so then, um, yeah. The, it basically, um, it's kind of, this movie is different in a way that, like, I'll have to get into spoilers here. Um, you know, the Latino's mother's sons die. Uh, they're, but, to see, they get taken off to, a, um, like, a care home, which is, like, an old abandoned hotel. Like, it's an old hotel, and it's, but now it's, a, like, a care home. And like the, the boys were walking around the um corridors and like nobody else heard them, there was no other kids around. Really? Weird. And then like the ghost of I thought it was the bride. Because in the other movie you see um the last film you see the bride's dress and the bride comes and get you know, tries to kill them and possesses one of the girls, which was great. Um uh, so I thought it was that movie again, but it turns out no. Um it turns out it wasn't. Uh, so after um, the ghost, it, it is a ghost. It isn't a demon this time. That's the, that was the thing about the last movies. They were all kind of demons. This one's kind of more of like a um, like a ghost. But anyway, um, so then she starts to haunt the single, the other single mothers' kids. Uh, because the, um, it turns out, you know, the Latino mother said, you know, I'll give you the hero kids if you give them my kids back, and I don't think it works like that, but anyway, uh, so, if it seems kind of boring, because it is, it was kind of boring, like, nothing really, like, there was a great cameo from the priest from one of the other movies, uh, Annabelle, uh, I think it was the Annabelle film, um, like he he starred in Stargate and that as well. Uh, he was pretty good in this movie too. Uh, but he didn't really help out. He kind of helped the mother to go towards this witch doctor, um, Cruz, and then he helped them, um, fight the ghost. You know, um, and so there was kind of good scenes in it, um. Again, you have to look at re reflections in the mirror, 
and it's kind of like now you see the ghost now you don't and one by one the three of them start seeing the ghost and getting grabbed in the arm and getting marked and so that's when they were possessed uh they weren't possessed but they were like clung on the ghost clung on to them um yeah so then eventually like it ended up all fighting the ghost and it was something really you haven't seen before in the other films. Uh, it was kind of, you know, uh, it was just kind of run in the middle. Except for, like, ever since The Conjuring, there's been less and less people trying to help the people who are in danger. It's, and there was just one guy. And it's just like, okay, it's just one guy. Really, he isn't going to bring in a team. Like, no, okay. Um... But anyway, so my favourite scenes, I guess, I'll talk about my favourite scenes uh, when the little girl was by the pool and she had the umbrella and she kept seeing it. But she put it down, she could see the ghost and when she put it up, she couldn't. That was pretty cool. Um, I, I don't... Like, there is a twist at the end, which is pretty cool. Uh, which was pretty good, um, but like, I, I, it was only, it was, the movie was on for an hour and a half, but like, it was just like scene, 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 and then, um, like, it was kind of, nothing really happened in all the film except the kids were getting scared, the kids were alright, this was kind of like, I give it like this movie, like, like two like out of five stars, like two and a half, three like two and a half, maybe. It was kind of boring, nothing really happened. I, I you know, if I went to the cinema and watched it, I'd be kind of I would have been let down a wee bit. Uh the end was really good. Um but like my advice is if you're gonna watch it, just fast forward through it because there's a lot of Yapping and it's kind of like well we kind of are well we got told the story of the ghost why she was a ghost by the priest and that was pretty good but like we saw that at the beginning of the film of like um the mother uh the ghost was when she was alive back in 1870 or whatever uh her husband cheated on her and then she killed her own kids to try and get revenge on her revenge on the husband but then she realised what she did and she kind of killed herself and then she I was just kind of like okay really that's not really great um, and I guess the possessed object in this movie was the necklace but it was really confusing because she was dressed like the bride so I thought I was getting the bride story and I wasn't um, so that was kind of a letdown if I'm being honest but uh, it, it was it was fine. If you have a free night to watch it, probably stick it on, fast forward through the yappity bits, and just get to the action basically, and you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, um, it it wasn't like after the last Annabelle film, it was uh, it was pretty good. I think um, I have one more film left of The Conjuring Two to watch. That'll be the next movie review. I hope that's better. Um, not that this one movie was bad. It wasn't bad. There were some, some good scenes in it. But um, like I said, you, you just fast forward through it. You kind of know the st stick by now. Like, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, nothing really. Like, Cruz was funny in it. I will give him that. He was, he was supposed to be like a he was kind of a bit scary in bits, but then he was, uh, he did crack a few jokes and, um, that, that was funny. That, he was, he was good. And the mom was good too, but, um, yeah, I just, it was what it was. Uh, so check out my last movie review, check out the, the um, Conjuring, uh, timeline here. Uh, check out my channel, check out some other videos, uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you later. Um, thanks for watching.
Goodbye.